Well, part of Mount Baldy is off limits as the search continues for a missing hiker. Yeah, today the crews are out there intensifying their efforts. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live near the Upland Command Post with a look at what's happening today. Cara. Sandy, we just spoke with the brother and the son of the missing hiker. They tell us they were told some special snow tracking dogs are on the way and that they are extremely grateful for all the help this community and authorities are giving them. Hope started pulling into this Upland command post early this morning. Nearly twice as many certified volunteers will look for a missing hiker, Sri Mokapati, today than did yesterday. A heartening response to his family's emotional pleas last night. I beg and I plead that we can have more certified Alpine search and rescue volunteers to show up and help find my dad. Mountain search crews need special equipment and training and are limited in number. Nearly 30 helped during the first day of the search. But since then, many were diverted to help with four other rescues in the same general area. Because of that, and to preserve Mokapati's footprints, all trails around the Mount San Antonio Peak have been temporarily shut down. Following up on a few more clues today uh, that popped up late yesterday, uh, more, more tracks. So hopefully that'll yield something. The last photo taken of Mokapati as he started to summit Mount Baldy alone Sunday shows frigid, dangerous conditions. The 52-year-old father and software engineer is an experienced hiker and decided to continue on after the rest of his group turned back. He'd only prepared for a day hike with limited food and water, so time is especially critical. If the winds cooperate today, two helicopters are at the ready, both to survey from the air and to drop in searchers. It saves a lot of time. Uh, they don't have to hike in there. And you can see how heavily this is weighing on this family, a nerve-wracking weight. Sandy, Suzanne, they tell me they haven't been able to call their family in India yet. They just can't do it. They're hoping that he is found first and that he is okay.